A second leg of the inquiry, Wemkwebane will call her witnesses, but it got off to a delayed start as Mkwebane wants the evidence leaders to be removed and replaced. Her gripe is that the evidence leaders are not fair. So even a prosecutor, their duty is not to secure a conviction, but the conduct of these evidence leaders has been that their duty is to secure a, a finding of guilt against the public protector. So they have not even met, the, even if they were being charged by the standard of prosecutors, they would have failed, let alone the, even the higher standard of evidence leaders. Mpofu also took issue with the conduct of the evidence leaders who flighted the legal fees of selected advocates last month. He pointed out that this conduct had been criticized by the Johannesburg Society of Advocates as well as the Pan-African Bar Association of South Africa as malicious disclosure and regrettable. Mpofu says they should have been forewarned about the disclosure, adding this was a major transgression in the committee's name. Had they done so, it is reasonable to assume that such inaccuracies would have been avoided. The evidence leaders' conduct sparked confusion and mayhem in the country and in the legal fraternity. A screenshot containing the fees and names of concerned advocates and attendants predictably went viral on social media to the detriment of the family members of the concerned attendants and advocates. The persons involved were also exposed to criminality and other forms of harassment and insults. At times, Mpofu locked horns with the chairperson over the restricted time to make his removal application. There's, there's nothing switch that's going to be done now. Why can't you give us 20 minutes to Thank you switch off your mic, Advocate Mpofu? Because we, we, no. we, we work according to time in everything we do. Time for what? Switch off your mic, Advocate Mpofu. I'm, 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 I'm on the chair. No, but chair. But I'm on the chair. I did not disturb you when you're speaking. Please switch off that mic. Don't shout at me. Please switch no, off that no, mic, Advocate Mpofu. I'm, I'm not going to switch it off if you're shouting at me. Please switch off that mic, Advocate Mpofu. No, I'm, I'm saying speaking now, and you can't continue disrupting me. The committee will deliberate on the removal application on Tuesday morning. Having received uh, all of their written submissions and would allow Advocate Mbofu there, when we come back from that committee, we'll then indicate what the decision is either way. Um, and, and I've made that point. And we'll allow him to make these leading arguments. And we're going between now and end of the day everything is going to be done for the, the witness to be on board meanwhile mpofu has reiterated their request for president cyril ramaphosa to testify despite the committee having dealt with the matter and found it was not necessary public enterprises minister pravin godan former public protector tulima Donsela, damp natasha mazon and acting public protector advocate Koleka Kaleka are also on their wish list of witnesses. Tulilani Philip, SABC News, Parliament.